Hey y'all, welcome back to Lightworks Intuitive Healing. I am your intuitive reader. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to do a two pile uh, what you need to know read. So what I'm going to do is just shuffle a few of each cards into each pile and then you can choose which pile you uh, want to and see which one resonates with you the most, okay? So I've already cleansed the energy and the cards. Just gonna take a few deep breaths with me. All right. So I'm gonna give each one. So we're gonna take one from each of the decks and then we'll take two from the tarot deck i'm gonna get about a good three or four shuffles for each deck hope you guys are having a blessed and positive day today So this will be for a deck one and this one or pile one and pile two. And we'll use the tiger's eye for pile one and the lapis lazuli for pile two. Okay. Now let's get a higher self for each pile. Energy. Let's get a wisdom of the oracle and then we'll get two tarot cards for each deck. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do you want Pile 1 and Pile 2 to know? What do you want Pile 1 and Pile 2 to know, Holy Spirit? tarot cards from the light seers for each pile.
All right. So go ahead and meditate on the cards and the stones, the crystals, and see which one, pile one or pile two, which one resonates with you the most. All right. So we are going to start with pile one, tiger's eye pile. We got magic. Take the first step. Cornucopia. All that glitters. Page of Cups and the Fool. Okay, so pile one, what I'm getting from this is that the divine is urging you to tap into the magic within. You are more powerful than you realize and you are blocking yourself by holding yourself back because of fear. This magic that you have within is going to bring this cornucopia reality to you. The fear is stemmed from you looking at other people in the industry that you're going in or in the area, whatever it is that you're going towards. You're feeling as though you're not as powerful as some of these people that appear to be really powerful in these industries. But the divine is saying all that glitters isn't gold. You have the magic within to bring you to this cornucopia. You're doubting. You're looking at yourself as though you are a page and you're telling yourself when pigs fly. You don't have the faith in yourself that the divine sees in you and knows that he or she placed in you. You are so powerful and you are being called to take this leap of faith to dive in because it's going to take you right to this cornucopia. Let's get a little bit more tarot for you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's get a couple more for Power One. What should Power One be aware of? What does Power One need to know? Couple more of these. Couple more, please. Okay. One more, please, Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm being called to take one more. <laughs> Let's see where this is going. Okay. Okay, so with the Devil card and the Four of Swords coming out, you are obsessively watching other people. You are too focused on all that glitters who the world deems to be successful in the area that you want to go in. And you're being called to take a rest from that, to detach. 
you are destined to have this stable foundation, stability, happy home, everything that you desire if you go within and take the first step and stop allowing this obsession with what you see to minimize your own value of yourself. You are a powerhouse. You are very successful. You will be very successful. You are very powerful. Just look at this person beaming. This is how the divine sees you, full of light, full of power. You just have to believe it and take the first step and really fall back on, I don't know if it's social media that you're watching, um, could be reality TV, um, celebrities, I'm not sure what it is that you're watching or what industry it is that you're wanting to go in or this could be this could also be a, a person that you're interested in or relationship that you're interested in going towards and you're looking at other prospects as more uh, successful or suitable for this particular person or situation but either way the divine says the magic in you is unmatched you just have to see it. You can't activate this until you believe it. Okay, so I'm going to get some advice for you, Power One. What advice do you have for Power One, Holy Spirit? What advice do you have for Power One? Whoa, that's way too many. Okay, priorities. The quality of your life is determined by how you spend your time. Make sure you schedule, your schedule reflects the life you want. That goes hand in hand with this message. If you want to be successful at whatever you're going towards, you have to prioritize yourself. That means prioritize going within, meditating, getting closer to yourself, um, doing the prep work, practicing your craft, um, making a vision board maybe of how you want to go about doing things and most importantly right now the divine is urging me to just tell you to this obsession with watching others that has to stop first you have to stop worrying about what everyone else is doing if you're worried about what they're doing you cannot be focusing on progressing and mastering yourself okay so I hope that you enjoyed the message if you do please like share comment and subscribe i would love to have you join the lightwork family until next time peace and blessings All right, Pals 2, this is your reading. You chose the Lapis Lazuli. We got rejection. Patience. Strategy. New life. Chariot. And Ace of Pentacles. This is pretty clear so far. 
So there was some type of situation that you were involved in where you were rejected or you had to reject someone or something. But the divine is telling you to be patient in due time with preparation and strategy. You are going to create this new life and move towards, move forward with this new opportunity that the divine is going to give you. With rejection right above the chariot is saying there's something else better that you're supposed to be moving towards. And, and pa with the patience falling above Ace of Pentacles, the divine is telling you to be patient because they will be gifting you this new opportunity. Okay. So with the strategy card, um, for those of you that whether it's business proposals, projects, um, creative ventures, the divine is wanting you to, in the downtime, do more prep work. There are uh, different uh, tasks that you need to handle to prepare for this new life this new opportunity, this new job, this new business, this new creative venture that you're working on. So attend to the minor details right now. That's the strategy that they want you to, um, what you want to be working on in the downtime. Also, for some of you, you'll need to do market research on the industry that you want to go into, meaning you want to identify your target audience or your target uh, uh, consumers, people that you want to um, offer your products to or where you want to open your business. You need to do a little bit more research on identifying those people that you want to uh, sell to or um, if you're doing an online business, how to set up your website. So just the background work that needs to go into that part of it. There's some people here that are, this is about a relationship where you were rejected from a relationship or you had to reject someone else. So with the patience and the strategy, um, the divine is urging you to spend time, this downtime working on yourself identifying things that you should be doing, your own personal projects, um, focusing on your health, your self-care. Um, that's the strategy that they want you to be going towards and looking into now. This new life is going to be very beautiful. It's going to feel like a fairy tale for you. But it's very important that you do the background work before this opportunity presents itself, before you're moving forward to this new opportunity, you wanna go into it prepared is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's get a little more tarot, see if we can get any more messages. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what should we be aware of? What's your how to? Be aware of at this time. Let's get a couple messages, please. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we have the Two of Pentacles and the Strength card, and one more. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. The tower. I'm feeling like the two of pentacles in this spread is past energy. 
for those of you that were in relationships there was potentially someone that had a couple of options and they rejected you so the divine is urging you to be strong there was a tower okay thank you holy spirit i'm hearing that the divine brought in a tower to end this situation so that you could move forward in a new opportunity in a new life because that was not what the divine had planned for you that the same applies to the businesses business ventures job opportunities that did not go through the first time around for you this is very similar to the first pile <laughs> That's amazing. Um, so you may want to check out pile one as well because it was very similar. Um, you had the choice to choose between two options and the one that you went with did not go through. It didn't work. didn't work out. And that's because the divine did not want it to work out. The divine had another opportunity that's going to be better for you and give you this beautiful new life. You're being gifted because you stayed strong throughout this process. Beautiful. Okay, let's get some advice. Ship how to be aware of Holy Spirit. Thank you. Revel. <laughs> it's time to celebrate the fact that you don't fit in. Stand on your own two feet. All right. So the divine is saying, be glad that you were rejected. You are the rebel. Stand on your own two feet. You are going to rock this new opportunity because you're going to spend the time doing the research, strategizing to ensure that this, this new opportunity and new life for you is a success. You are the rebel. All right, let's get one more. What else, Holy Spirit? Too many. I'm gonna take the top. Power. The ability to suck it up is not a superpower. Saying no is own your power. So those two, I think I must have put the other one back. Those two really go hand in hand. It's like you don't feel it if you don't fit in. You're gonna take it and run with it. You are so much more powerful than you realize. When you do the work and strategize and do your research, you will be successful. You will come up with an effective plan that's going to work for you and bring you to this new and beautiful life and this new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. So that was your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. If so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you join the Lightwork family. Until next time, peace and blessings.